the number one vacation destination for Americans overseas? It's Western Europe. Do you want to go? You should go. The problem is the euro is killing the dollar again. So how do you afford it and still have a great time when everybody else wants to go? Follow my advice and you'll have a great experience. Europe can actually be affordable. You just need to do some advanced planning. Let's start with transportation. In Paris, a one-hour ride on the number 69 public bus is under $2. It starts in the west at the Eiffel Tower and offers a great tour of the city. In Venice, get a museum pass for 18 euros, about $25. But if that sounds expensive, do the math. It covers you at nine of Venice's civic museums, as well as museums on the island of Murano, where you can watch the artisans doing their trademark hand-blown glass. In Rome, head for the piazzas. Why? Because that's where you'll find free or very low-priced concerts on a regular basis. And in Amsterdam, buy the one Amsterdam card for about $39, but that gets you unlimited access to museums, boat tours, and public transportation. One last piece of advice. In my book, the summer also includes September. In fact, September is the magical month of all months. That's when you really want to go to Western Europe. The prices go down, the crowds thin out, and you own it.